GSM is pleased to be here because we can find in one location all the movers and shakers. So we have government, we have the private sector, the industry here, the operators and obviously the subscribers, the consumers of the mobile broadband service. So it's a good opportunity to meet with everyone and to push out the message that broadband is important and there is a lot more that needs to be done. Keeping on the theme of broadband and tying it back again to what's on the WEF Africa agenda, if we review the last 25 years on the African continent and looking forward to the next 25 years, how far have we come firstly when it comes to broadband penetration and what does the future look like? Well, when mobile started everywhere, it was a voice-centric service. So recently we've had the mobile broadband that has taken off and broadband enables people to do a lot of things mm. it, and yeah. what we as the GSMA are striving for is to extend broadband to everyone in every country not just those in your urban areas but we want everyone in the country ex including in the rural underserved areas to be connected so that's our mission what kind of role does uh, the rollout and implementation of broadband play in developing economic growth for African states? Well, I'll just give you some statistics. So in terms of mobile, the effect, the socio-economic effect of mobile service, in the last year for which we have figures in 2013, we had that mobile broadband contributed 75 billion US dollars Sure. to the economy of sub-Saharan Africa. 75 billion. 75 billion. That's a big number. Maybe yeah. if we can expand there further, uh, because the private sector can't obviously roll out this broadband alone. Are governments participating in making it a business-friendly environment and to uh, facilitate the rollout of broadband in African economies? Well, we must acknowledge that government has an extremely important role to play. So broadband today, it's about 40% penetration, and it's gotten there because of the policies that are in place. But we need to accelerate the broadband rollout. So government has an increased role to play by making the policies more business friendly, to make the resources available so that broadband can be rolled out quicker. Mr. Hope, just in conclusion, uh, there will be a panel discussion which GSMA will be hosting here at the World Economic Forum. Uh, what are the key highlights and insights that you are hoping to bring forth to that discussion? Well, one of them is the issue of spectrum, which any network needs, a mobile network needs in order to deploy. So spectrum is very important. We have had spectrum allocated to the mobile service for mostly voice-centric services. Now, in order to provide the data-centric services, we need additional spectrum, high-frequency spectrums that would allow very high data rates, and low-frequency spectrums that would allow wide area coverage, especially in your rural areas. So that's very important. We need to drive that message so that Africa, Africa's time has come. So we need to get the mobile networks out there.